What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Triple A Mondays with your hosts, Pause and Pause and Andrea. <laughs> really? That's it? That's really lame. I was so excited. What the uh, heck? This this feels weird because like typically whenever we record these where I'm playing a game and reading questions and talking and I have headphones over my, my ear, but we're sitting here, we're recording this as a separate audio because I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing right now that it's no longer AAA Mondays on Minecraft. I just, I, I found trying to do what I was trying to do on Minecraft and answering these type of questions to be a little bit all over the place, so... Sometimes it may be Minecraft, uh, but as for now, I'm going to be trying to switch it up. It's not going to be any particular game or anything like that. It's going to be like, you know, some indie games here or there. And, you know, it's, it's also another way for you guys to check out a game and be, maybe be like, hey, that's kind of cool. I want to go check it out. So without further ado, let's get to the questions. Today we decided to do Twitter most like, mostly because, well, we forgot it's Sunday. Yeah. We went out hiking literally all day. We went out to Mount Bravo. We went up there at around 12. We got up there around 3 o'clock because we were out. No, I'm just joking. That's when we left. But <laughs> we, we, we went up the mountain. We had, uh, we, we actually, I guess it's kind of, of a double date. I feel weird saying that because it's like my friend Joey and just like Oh, I guess about, it kind of was. Yeah, I don't like, know. It we feels went up there. just like a bro hangout, yeah. to be honest. We went up there just to go like have picnic and to have picnic. Yeah, we definitely had picnic up there. Yeah, it, it was, was very good. It was tasty. I had a sandwich. Yeah. And then... We came back, had a couple brews, and then beforehand, before we even like went out to the the place, I actually ended up getting some burgers all prepared and that. So when we got back, Andrea and her friend there, they they suntan on the deck and yeah, we did. We went and got some Slurpees and put some Grey Goose in it. That's the way I roll, all gangster with that Grey Goose Seven. Yeah. We are, all, Slurpee. we are all very sunburned and very full. I'm not really sunburned though. Like you're sunburned. I'm, you have I'm sunburned. super native Just right now. Just because you're so brown, I mean, I got, you still I got have some really, red bits. Yeah, but you are sunburned. Your forehead. Your face is gonna be sunburned. It's actually not. <laughs> Anyways, My arms are the worst. <laughs> so Anyways. we decided to just do some Twitter questions today rather than focusing on trying to find some ant like questions on on the on the videos, but. That's typically how we do it. Like I said, today is just like a special day. We're recording this at 10 p.m. at night because we went out for, we went out for like a uh, little dessert at a place called Menchie's, which is like <laughs> frozen yogurt. And while while I was spooning this delicious cookies and cream yogurt <laughs> with Oreo topping, I was like, oh shit, Andrea, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, that's me with my mouthful. So. But uh, and she's like, do we have to do what? I'm like, yeah, because like last week she. Uh, she was she wasn't feeling too good after she got up got home from work so we just decided to I well I decided I didn't want to like force her to sit here for like 20 15 20 minutes and just be uncomfortable and at, at asking questions so I appreciate it. I was tired as heck last Sunday yeah and I hope you guys can understand that uh, I'm sorry it's not Andrea's job it, this is like my thing and the, having Andrea is kind of a bonus so. So without further ado, guys, let's get to the questions. So at KaiserFearX12 asks, what's your opinion on ketchup? Example, ketchup on scrambled eggs. Also, ketchup or mustard. Dude, ketchup on all the things. It's like, I, I, I think it's mostly an American thing to find ketchup on like eggs and that a bit. Is it? Yeah. To find it weird or to To like find it, it weird. Like, oh. I mean, obviously like having ketchup on on like burgers and hot dogs is a little bit of the norm but i mean here's here's like another here's like another um example of a canadian type of thing is ketchup chips you cannot mm. find ketchup chips in america yep i mean you probably can but like it's probably like in the shadiest of shady places or somewhere <laughs> like the really black near market yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, to trade um, a kidney i'll trade you my left kidney for a couple bags of those lays ketchup chips <laughs> Make sure they're they're the they're the rippled kind. <laughs> no, but I I I just think like I don't know, because <laughs> I put ketchup on my scrambled eggs. I put ketchup on my fried eggs. I put ketchup on everything. I put ketchup. I dunk my bacon in ketchup, and I I want to make something just fucking clear right now. It is not crispy bacon, okay? It's the chewy bacon, the best kind of bacon. Well, yeah. Right. You can have like a little bit of crispy, but it has to be mostly chewy, so it's more delicious. Yeah. So. Ketchup to me is a okay. 
Yeah, I don't eat ketchup anymore. And mustard, the mustard that I have to buy now has like no sugar in it, so it's a little bit gross, so it's only good when you cook it. So I guess I have to go with mustard. But before, I think I would have chosen ketchup. Maybe. Yeah, burgers, ketchup, Maybe. fries. Yeah, well, honestly, my, all, you know what? Ketchup or mustard, I choose gravy. Ew. <laughs> Gravy's awesome. Gravy's, I wouldn't consider gravy like a condiment, though. Yeah, but gravy is the best. Especially for yeah, fries but... and bacon and grilled cheeses and everything. I guess. So. <laughs> Poutine. Oh, gosh. Well, at Jenny Venn Diagram wants to know, if you had to live in a Mario Kart 8 course for the rest of your life, which one would it be? See, this, is, this was a little bit awkward, mostly because we only played, like, five cups right now so we haven't experienced all the levels it's also awkward because i don't remember the names of any of them <laughs> describe what you saw ever like oh yeah maybe maybe that that donkey kong one because that was like pretty cool and it looks like you could go hiking in that place yeah for <laughs> me like for me it'd be the electrodome i wouldn't have to like go out to vancouver just to like experience some concerts i could just like insert a fucking disc and like run around and make my own sick beach or something like that. You could do, instead of like that piano and beg, you could totally like do your music on the ground with the lights things. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> so at Gravity, Zero Gravity 12 wants to know. Oh God, where the heck did it go? Have you, you and Andrea fought or argued? No, no we are never. We're the most perfect couple ever. Yeah, like I don't even know what an Shut argument the fuck is. Up, seriously. <laughs> Dude, why you always gotta be saying these things to me and undermining me whenever we do these? Well, that's because it's my job to undermine me. <laughs> that just makes me sound like a fucking prick. <laughs> no, but obviously a healthy relationship has like a healthy amount of arguments and, and fights. I mean, at the end of the day, I still love her. She still loves me, I think. Yeah, the important thing is, is even if you, you argue, try and argue fair. Don't like take cheap shots when you fight. Try and keep personal stuff out of it like you know sore spots out of it because that's not fair and also try not to go to bed angry that's yeah really important try and make up before bed because if you go to bed angry you're just gonna wake up angry yeah it's no fun you can't sleep it's garbage you know you need to just make up and apologize and mean it even if you think you're still right you could still apologize for hurting the other person's feelings and that's pretty important too mm -hmm. all right so hint a geek wants to know if you could erase one person from existence would you use this power and if so who would it be and why Firepower. i wouldn't it's not my right what oh my god this is a hypothetical question no, I, 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 i'm just just teasing you it's it said would you use it I, I thought for a second I made up that part in my head. <laughs> no. So I had to reread it. I'm sorry. It's there. It's there. <laughs> uh, I have to agree because, like, racing one person from existence is like the butterfly effect, you know? Yeah. Well, the, also and the last that, thing we want is, like, Ashton Kutcher coming around and, oh like, God. getting nosebleeds, you what know? What if he shows up at our front door and, like, things go down? And then I'll be like, I why Ashton the Kutcher fuck did house? I erase Ashton Kutcher? Like, damn it! Right? <laughs> Why did I think of that? Well, okay, let's, let's put it this way. Could I erase, like, no, it won't work, but I, I wanted to say, can I erase um, Adam Sandler's new movies? No, I like Drew Barrymore. You may like Drew Barrymore, but you gotta admit, I he's been bringing out a bunch of crap. Well, I don't care about his crap. I want to watch the rom-coms. Gross. I'm not gross. You're gross. <laughs> Why am I gross? Because you are. You're smelly. Jesus Christ, someone, I'm not answering this question, but someone asked how much money would it take for you to kill a puppy with a sledgehammer? There is no amount of money that can No, that's messed me. up. Anyways, on to regular, normal, <laughs> non-psychopathic questions. That's creepy. Eric Liu, 26, wants to know what is your favorite thing about doing YouTube full-time, and go, Andrea. Well, you know, I'm always busy, and there's a lot of guys, but you know what? It's really, really satisfying. Wait, 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 wait. I feel there's a lot of guys. Oh, there's a ton of guys. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I, I assumed this was directed at me, but... Uh, <laughs> I'd be really dumb to not assume that, right? <laughs> but Don't lie, there's a lot of guys. I just I think, like, the... Uh, uh, like, my, my, my most favorite thing is... I don't know, like, getting... 
there's so many like nice messages and happy messages out there saying like you know i made people's days and all that but like at the end of the day i really wish i could meet a lot of you because like that's like my favorite thing is going to these conventions and actually you know meeting meeting you guys putting a face to a, a name and everything and it's just it's just such a cool experience and honestly meeting people and like even things like on like live streaming like whenever i live stream I, I that's just like one of my favorite things to do is just like interact with you guys and so i guess interaction is basically my favorite type of thing what no it's just cute because it's totally you <laughs> shut up but i guess like my second favorite thing is it does get, like this job is fucking busy like you can ask andrea how mm. how long i'm in my room for but like aside from that it, it does allow me to actually spend more time with Andrea. Like, we've been going out for walks, you know, going hiking recently. Yeah, and we, we just have to make our schedules work around each other and make the time to actually go out. Otherwise, he's mm -hmm. busy all the time. He has to make the time. It's crazy. I try. I try. You are trying. It's been very good. We've had a lot of time to spend together recently, so that's nice. All right, so there's another person who asked the same type of question, Trooper956. Does your fiancé as a gamer ever get jelly of your job? Um, wow, saying a game, I'm a gamer, really is giving me a lot of credit, <laughs> so... <laughs> She's like an ex-gamer now, basically. I'm, I'm jelly of the fact that he does something that he loves so much that he actually enjoys doing it most of the time, like, 95% of the time. Yeah. So, that's amazing, like, I'm super jealous of that, that's great. So, at Taylor wants to know what kind of wedding did slash do you want to have congrats by the way andrea you're beautiful oh well thanks that's nice and what kind of <laughs> what, what I'll, kind get the, I'll get the answer <laughs> what kind of wedding did do you want to have well i don't <laughs> did you guys hear how canadian she got there shut i up. don't shut up i i really don't care about the wedding part to be honest i'm only interested in the being married part and that sounds really horrible you, uh, you know what i mean no I'm, that hurts my feelings like i'm more interested in doing like a hand fasting or like a like justice of the peace thing and like celebrating with friends and family i'm not in, interested in like the dress and the wedding and blah 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 i don't care about that stuff that stuff actually kind of stresses me out even thinking about it like having to organize that mm -mm. no thank you <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. us we're, we're 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 very simple we already know what we're gonna do we're going down getting basically like a justice of peace because neither of us are religion religion we are not religion. do you guys follow the faith of pause and pause and andrea <laughs> taking donations <laughs> <laughs> but um no we're gonna be going down and just basically getting married that way we're we just get pieces of paper signed. Yeah, our parents we, we are going to be there. We give that kiss. We're going to like... And then we're going to go to the keg. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go get steak. Like, for us, mm. wedding... Like, neither of us planned on never getting... I mean, we planned on getting married, but, you know, it's never like this whole, like, Hollywood type of thing where, oh, there needs to be fun and... and Beaches and tons of family and friends and uh, kissing and saying all what we want to say. No, promise. It's too much. Yeah, it's that's gross. I don't like being center of attention. That <laughs> and way. hey, if that's if, creepy. if you if that's what if that's your guys' jam, you know, go, it's all for you. It's just yeah. it's just not our type of thing. Yeah, like people who like to do that sort of thing or want a day that's all for them and everything. That's cool. But like, we just want a small thing where we don't have to have people like hey. Yeah. So I heard you're getting married. That's great. <laughs> How do you feel about each other? Please tell us in excruciating detail for half an hour. It's like, oh god, no thanks. And then, ding, sorry, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you got a kiss in front of a bunch of people. That's gross. PDA. Gross. Yeah, and I don't want any cake in my face. Battery over here. Okay. Next question, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so Miss Pyro X wants to know, what do you think of Mario Kart 8 so far? Super fun. Thing. Super fun. That game, it is far more fun than I initially anticipated. Like, I knew it was going to be fun. Yeah. But this is like a whole new level of fun. Yeah, the, all the flying, like the, the, what do you call it, the gliding stuff is super fun, and the underwater, and the and the hover stuff, and everything. If I could only get a hang of doing turns, it would be 100% awesome. Right yeah. now, it's like 95 
But that's just because of the whole turning situation. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna... Don't worry. Andrea's gonna get the, a hang of it and everything, so... <laughs> and even if I don't, I'm still having a good time, so that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Ex-gamer, what can I say? So... Ellie Caribou wants to know, how old are you, Andrea? I'm 30. 62. Shut up! I'm Ow. 30. And I'm 26. Alright, so TweetyBird101 underscore wants to know, what are your celebrity girl and guy crushes for both of you? Well, for guy, it is definitely... I don't want to admit it. I can't remember his name right. Say it. Ryan Gosling! Ryan Gosling. <laughs> that's fucking dreamy as <laughs> shit. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> And then, I don't know, for, for a girl, it's really weird for me because, like... Oh, I, whatever. For me, it's like, oh, no, I'm not... I don't care. It's oh. Like, it's between, like, Ellen Page and Emma Stone. Although, my crush kind of got, got a little... I don't understand Ellen Page. She's so hipster, and you seem to... No, no, understand. but here's the thing. My, my crush kind of got crushed because she came out, and she's... Oh, well, whichever. It doesn't matter. It's a crush. It doesn't matter what... They like. But I have no hope now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Wait, did my supposed to answer? Yeah, that? what? Mine is um oh Natalie Dormer and Carl mm, Urban at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna beat both of them up. Are you? I'm fucking. You can't you can't beat up Natalie Dormer. She's the cutest girl in the universe. Um, she has the sweetest little face. You couldn't you can't. Mm. You just physically would be unable. You couldn't. <laughs> what? The Tim Hortons one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we could ask that one because, like, you just kind of threw that out there. Sorry. So, Mona Me Ananas wants to know this is a two-parter. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's let's say the the happier note <laughs> because the the first question she asks is a little bit of a downer. But uh, she says, on a happier note, what are you and Andrea's favorite Tim Hortons baked goods? Honey Cruller. Mm. So good. Yeah, honey crullers. Not that I, not that she could eat well, them anymore. Well, Boston but. creams used to be my favorite, but then they changed the recipe and then they sucked, so they were garbage. And then they changed like, what was it? The the the, the recipe for the double chocolate donut part, and then they sucked. Donut. Yeah. What the heck? So then honey cruller is basically oh no oh, strawberry blossoms there you go and cherry blossoms oh so good or they have that sorry there's so many the coconut Boston cream was amazing but they only had it sometimes that, okay that's my ultimate no favorite. more ores you sure no that's it coconut see Boston I was gonna go cream. back and say like sorry okay for donuts <laughs> it's definitely honey cruller but I've been really addicted to their what was it like a jalapeno cheddar bagel. Or jalapeno asiago chip. I don't know. Did they have one like that? Yeah, it's freaking delicious. It's not a and you get like donuts. plain cream cheese with it. Mm. Mm. But the first first question from Monami Ananas is How do you stay positive during times when your mind wants to dwell on the negative? Hashtag coughing. Cough ask for, for a friend. Asking for. Oh! She's asking for a friend. <laughs> Ugh. I get it. Yeah. Alright, so. I get it. Do well, you get it? N no. Are you sure? No. <laughs> uh, okay. How do you stay positive during times when your mind wants to dwell on the negative? Um, I don't dwell on the negative very much at all anymore. So, um, uh, that's a, this is a hard one. What do you do, Alex? See, I'm one of the people <laughs> who fucking do dwell on the negative. Yeah. And I don't know, like. I'm not gonna lie, this week was bad for me. Like, so, for me, like, when I'm tr when I'm thinking negatively, and there's this, for, for me, be because, like, I am able to work at home, there there is, like, this thing where I get, like, really in kind of, like, a rut, and so, it sounds gross, but I don't shower, like, I, I shower, okay, I shower, but I won't, like, shower till like, the end of the day, like, at night, right before I go to bed. But I was reading, like, this thing that, like, in order for you to, like, get kind of out of that mindset is to like basically get up eat shower like it, this is for people who work at home obviously is like like i said to get up eat shower get dressed like you were ate, like were to go out i don't know it's some yeah, psychological don't just get up in pajamas all day like a slob yeah because you'll feel slobby yeah exactly and andrew like andrew's had time like days off where and they're like 
you actually said that a week ago. You're like, yeah, kind of see what you mean now, because like you just you were watching Bones all day. And yeah, I was just like not doing anything and so not getting dressed. You, and you just don't feel productive. Else. But like honestly, for me, what I what I do is, I just try. It sounds stupid, like obviously, like try not to dwell on it. But like, there are things you can do. Is like, if you feel like if you if you're cooped up in like your bedroom or something, like obviously you're just gonna like sit here and you're gonna like think about all these fucking random thoughts that are just like negative and everything. So for me, what I do is I try and go out. This is why I've been going out for walks and everything is because like when you're out of like your zone and everything, like in going out and enjoying nature, you're putting yourself into like this, not not positive, but like it's just like you're just taking yourself out of like your your everyday life and just being able to go out and enjoy the sun and all that and not really think about that or you could just do what I do also and just play like Binding of Isaac or just some mm. video games and just take your mind off of it or just watch TV you know talk with a friend yeah. uh, escapism works to a point talk to people hang out with people that really helps hang out with positive people read positive things um, drink lots of water get lots of sleep if you can like it sounds silly but it really does if you keep your body healthy, then your mind stays healthier too, most of the time, for mm -hmm. most people. Eh. You know, eat some chocolate. <laughs> eat chocolate. There, yeah, it's a good one. And, um... Um... Um, I um, lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. That's fine. I, it's a problem. I don't know, <laughs> we, we've, we've talked about this a lot, you know, obviously, eating eating a lot healthier is, is also good for that, oh, so... here's a good one. To keep positive, like to stay away from negative, don't talk down to yourself in your head. Don't be like, oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Instead of saying those things to yourself, say, oh, it's okay. I'll do, I'll do better next time. Oh, it's fine. It's no worries. Tell, don't tell yourself negative things. Don't be like, oh, I'm so ugly. Just don't think about it. Don't let yourself say those negative things to yourself because the more you think positive the more positive your outlook is going to be and it sounds all new age hokey pokey but it's totally true fake it until you make it basically it totally works you just gotta change your entire thinking pattern another thing is just fucking smile just throw on a smile yeah a smiling smiling itself the physical act of it gives you more endorphins it's it's proven science. scientifically proven yeah science says it it must be true <laughs> Anyways, exercise endorphins. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, no, no. <laughs> these are all good advice. So we're gonna do one last question, and that last question comes in from a fellow stream viewer, Red Yellow Girl, and she wants to know: Do you guys have some dream slash goal you want to accomplish together? Because that'd be cute. Colon P. <laughs> I think honestly, right now our um, our actual goal is kind of like. It feels like our goal, aside from actually getting married and not putting it off forever, is like to get healthy together. Mm -hmm. That seems to be what we're doing right now. Because we've been eating a lot healthier. We've been going out for hikes and everything. Like, I guess to elaborate more so on the the whole, I mean, weight loss is one goal for sure. But there's like this one goal that that sticks out for me is because we are going out for all these walks and hikes and that is there's a there's a mountain, and it's mm. called Mount Zuhalem, and it's really fucking tall and there's no yeah. driving up it and so what we want to do is hopefully soon be able to climb like we've been yeah going to this mount mount provo but you're able to go up like 75 percent of the way yeah. driving mount provo takes when you go up from the parking lot to the summit it only takes you 15 minutes to get to the summit and then that's it you're done you can go back down but zuhalem is three hours up and down so and it's like really steep there's some parts where you basically have to like crawl up if you're not super skilled at hiking so yeah that is so our goal we want to do that one day because apparently it's incredible from the top mm -hmm. it's amazing i don't know i'm sure we have like other big goals but like right now that's the one we're focused it's only on what i can think of right now right i know it's important <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys that's gonna conclude today's AAA mondays if you guys want to leave a question for us to answer be sure to leave a comment down below with that that question and if you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button as it does help it a lot and do you have any last words andres just that i saw one question that asked about which show you would want to be uncancelled and i would choose almost human not community anyways i can't think of a <laughs> i'm sorry i saw that oh. and i was just like yeah one that I, w I didn't watch it at the time, but Freaks and Geeks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> and we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. Bye.